What's up guys, Pinoy here. So today, I'm going to be bringing you a very quick tutorial. Uh, it's, it's called the letterbox effect. And um, it's basically the widescreen look, but with a little bit of a twist to it. Uh, it's been requested by a good friend of mine, IR Chaz, leader of Vexed. And I, I just literally felt like doing it straight away simply because he requested it. So remember, you request an effect, I will try my best to bring it out as soon as possible. So let's go ahead, uh, drop in any clip you want, and just to let you guys know, you don't actually need you know, a clip to do this. You can do it with cinematics, you can do it with an intro, you can do it with a in real life video, set of video, whatever you want to do it with. Alright, so to do the, to do the uh, letterbox effect, pardon my stutter, to do the letterbox effect, you don't need any effects. All you need to do, right click on your clip, your video, whatever, and just make sure main tag expert ratio is ticked this for this one time. So I'm gonna ready to save a resample. Then you're gonna head on over to your vent pan crop. And all we're gonna do is make sure your your main tag expert ratio right here, your lock expert ratio, sorry, is not ticked. All you need ticked is this. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the vertical bars down to however far you like. So you can go all the way in like that. You can go all the way up like that. Usually I, I like to go around here. Now to add more of a feel to it, go ahead and zoom in a little bit, like so, yeah, we'll, we'll go for something like that, and then I don't know, add a little bit of a twist to it, literally do anything you want to this guys, honestly, make it yours, make it original, don't just copy the effect completely. So you're going to keyframe it to make it look better, and we're just going to go like so, hit restore, select both keyframes, right click, smooth, always want a smooth effect and I'm going to go ahead and pre-render this so as you can see we're zoomed in and now it's starting to twist out the black bars are starting to go back fade away and there you have it letterbox effect now you can spice it up by literally adding any effect usually I use it for transitioning uh, so I'd put a blur on there or yeah, I'd literally just like fade it like that with crossfade and it would just look fine on its own like that, yeah, perfect. Uh, you can also do it to sync it with, um, when you get uh, like a triple for example or whatever. Literally you can just use it whenever you want. So that's the letterbox effect guys, really really quick tutorial, uh, there's nothing much to it. Uh, if there's anything I missed out, let me know, uh, you know, feel free to comment about that. And if there's anything I wasn't clear about, uh, comment again and I'll, I'll, I'll clear it up to you, simple as that. So that's the letterbox effect guys, and I'll see you around. Peace. All right, how's it going guys? Listen up, I just uploaded my foot, well not the first time. All right guys, so go ahead and open up your Vegas, and right here I'm just gonna show you what the letterbox effect is right now. So that was pretty damn fast. Um, you know what, yeah, I'll just go by keyframe by keyframe. So you see the black bars, they really, they're there and then they start to fade out. Like so. It's really nice for when you want to do, uh, uh, when you're uh, transitioning it. And, uh, fuck! What's up guys, just before we get into this tutorial, I just uh, uploaded the tutorial the other night. Oh, just... FUCK SAKE MAN! <laughs> 